Hey, what's up everybody? BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's doing well. Gonna do a quick video today on a uh, another product that I purchased for myself that I'm still trying to find a good one. This is a mount, a smartphone mount for vehicles. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on screen the actual product that I got. There are many products like this. Uh, but the specific one that I have here, I'll put that on screen like I said. Um, but as we come back here to the live video uh, this is actually how it came it came in a uh, padded envelope from Amazon it was shipped just like this I took it out and this is what we got here uh, so very simple packaging nothing no frills basically you got some photos here that shows you how you could use this on air vent on a bicycle uh, outdoor recreation on any spot you want well we are about to try any spot because I'm really personally having as I open this uh, and also real quick here on the back there's some kind of instructions I guess uh, it is in English and I believe that is well there's a couple different languages there it looks like but it's very hard to, it looks like uh, Korean possibly uh, and maybe Chinese uh, anyway okay here's some other here's some more options on a shelf working out on any pole and on a desk now <clears throat> let me open this package up I've been having a hard time finding a, a mount for my iPhone 6 plus that I can use and you be able to record with um, so that's one of my biggest issues is not being able to record all my videos seems to be really shaky whenever I uh, whenever I uh, use my phone to record in the car. I don't really want to use a dash mount as we are looking at this product here You can see that it kind of rotates super simple. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and look uh, And see but I believe this was supposed to come with some Padding inside so I could actually this looks like it fits one size pole basically uh, There was supposed to be some padding I believe that goes in here where you could actually use it for different sizes and as you can see I have nothing else in this box so that's kind of a bummer as I sit here and record this um, but I'm already talking for two and a half minutes uh, let's see how uh, how it installs uh, on my car and how it will actually hold my my phone actually yeah, here I have my phone right here so let's go ahead and see I have a iPhone 6 plus and uh, basically, I think you just know there's no instructions, but I, I do have a very thin case on here. Uh, it's not taking up that much more room. So I'm curious if this is going to hold it as you just squeeze it on. Now it does look like it's holding it with the case on. So that's good. You can tell that it's like a mouth that opens up really, really far. Uh, really curious uh, if it's gonna fit on I was thinking about adding this on to my headrest so I could put it on my headrest pole uh, and um, record towards the front of my car or if I wanted to record towards the back of the car but with this with my see I'm already kind of frustrated with this thing because I'm expecting to have those pads inside here and uh, my headrest poles are thinner so this is just gonna be freaking dangling off of there I can tell you right now let's actually cut to my car and I'll show you what I'm talking about all right guys so here we go here's what I was planning on mounting this thing so I could record like I said towards the front of my car well as you can tell this thing just dangles here because this whole opening is too large there's supposed to be rubber pieces that you put inside of here that you can adjust this and put them on different size poles or different size bars well this just came like this so obviously it's not gonna it's not i didn't get everything i was supposed to get but it even says in the description because i went and looked here after my last recording that uh they uh, find the correct piece to put in and it will adjust to all different sizes of poles and bars well, unfortunately, I did not get it, so that's very disappointing. Um, so that's that was my plan here. Let's see if I can get this off real quick. Oh, there we go. Oh, there goes the phone. Um, one thing I did notice that was interesting about this was when you have your phone in there, 
if I can find my phone, which I can't, uh, is that uh, when your phone is in there, it does actually serve as a very good uh, stand, be it this way, tall ways, or sideways, so that kind of works for that. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can mount this on the dash or the vent and see how that goes. It's supposed to actually mount on the steering wheel as well, but that's something I'm never going to really need to do. I want to go ahead and try that vent mount. All right, guys, so here is the steering wheel mount right here. You can see fits on there fine. Everything seems sturdy kind of in that aspect so i mean i guess that kind of works let me go ahead and try the vent mount all right so here's the deal with the vent mount for me like this part of the mount it's very hard to open and it's very it collapses very it's very tight so i personally am not willing to break my vent to try to get this on when this does not look like a product that I'm going to be keeping. Unfortunately, I'm still in the, still looking for a mount that I can place in my car that does not have shaky video. I really wanted to mount it here, but that apparently I'm missing some parts. So I might get a hold of the company, see if they could send me those. If not, this piece is going back. But I at least wanted to show you a couple options and what it looked like. Uh, what it looked like. Uh, it runs around $10 on Amazon. Right now I'm not highly impressed. So uh, we we will see what happens. But that's my uh, that's my review of it so far. Hope this helped you guys.